Why you should keep an old fan than a newer fan? Fans are a very good household item to use whether it's in the summertime or wintertime. You can use a fan for energy saving reasons or to use at night. Why would you use a fan in the wintertime? Well, in the wintertime, if you don't have a ceiling fan, you can put a fan up near the ceiling to blow the heat around. If you have a upstairs, place the fan at the top of the stairway pointing downstairs or just facing towards downstairs. What's the difference in uh, quality between newer fans and older fans? Older fans, depending on what time period they're from, for example, 70, 70s fans, the early 70s fans, such as this liquid right here, um, they have aluminum blades, as you can see, they have a full-size motor, which is, on, which is right there, and they have a 2.4 amp motor, called a McMillan motor. They still make those motors today, but they're not in box fans. Uh, and they have a thick steel frame. Um, let's see. The air quality or performance is far more greater than that. And I'll show you why here in a second. Although you can't really judge by wind sound. This one on low. There is a difference between sound, though. This is louder. Newer fans are made out of cheap, cheap, cheap steel blades or plastic and do not blow as much air as the older box fans would. What would you do when your old fan breaks down? Well, if the fan still gets power but does not spin, use either zoom spout or, which is this, um, or 301 blue, which is I don't have any of those. Used to, but not. The reason you don't want to use WD 40 on a fan motor is because WD 40 is a penetrating oil and is also a detergent, so it will evaporate after about two weeks it's been used. Where do you find this type of oil? Well, I got mine at Ace Hardware, and that's where Zoom Spout is sold at. 3-in-1 you can find at Menards, Lowe's, or Home Depot. Is it worth cleaning your fan when it's dirty? Yes, it is. I polished mine up right here, and it blows a lot of air. A lot of air. Um, I haven't cleaned this one yet. I don't think I will. Um, cleaning your fan will boost the air performance and keep the motor life running longer. Well, what I did here was, because these have a cover on the back of the motor, I cut that out so the air can get to the motor easier. Um, cleaning your fan will boost air performance. If you clean the dust off the back of the motor, what I usually do with my fans is typically take the entire fan apart, including the motor, and I clean it out. A good brand of cleanser I use is awesome, which is 
this stuff. You can find these at Dollar General for about five bucks. What do I do with a dead fan? I usually test it first to see if it's getting any power. If there is no power, I cut the cord off and put a different cord on it. If it isn't the cord, then there's usually a fuse inside the motor that I bypass to get the fan to turn on. What does it mean to bypass a fuse? Well, I have a dead motor that I parted out a long time ago, but right here my friend already kind of cut the fuse out already. But uh, he already bypassed it, as you can see. But anyway, there's two wires that come off this winding right here, and then there's one that comes. There's one that comes out of here, somewhere. Not exactly sure where, but <clears throat> anyway, you cut you. Uh, the fuse is either looks like a light, or it's a small white or black square with two wires going in it. You cut the box off and tie the two wires together going into the fuse. And it should fire it up. If the fan still doesn't run, the motor is probably shorted or there's a loose wire in the switch. A lot of today's modern fans have a fuse in the cord, but there is a fuse in the motor also. Most of the time, the fuse in the cord goes out first before the fan motor does. You can cut the cord off and replace it. Normally the fan turns right on after the new cord is on. If it doesn't, then it's probably the fuse in the motor. Where can I find an old fan? Typically I find my fans at thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales, and sometimes on the trash. But for non-experienced pe people that work on fans, I'd go to a thrift store or flea market to find one. What are some good brands that I'd are good quality fans of today personally I'd recommend a Max Air or Air King there are other brands out there called Lasco which is this Aerospeed Holmes and a Comfort Breeze a classic brand I recommend is a Lakewood such as this one well, this one's available as Kmart uh, let's see. I have about 40 Lakewood fans that I use sometimes um, how much are older fans worth? Well, this one right here, being there is no rust on it, would probably be worth about 80 bucks. Um, let's see right here. This one right here, which is a super electric, would be worth probably about, maybe close to 100. But, these are pretty common in the uh, fan market. But there is no rust on it and no broken slats in the grill so it'd be worth a little bit of money um, average cost for a fan is around 80 bucks sometimes it can be over five thousand dollars depending what brand and model number um, that one right there that one is probably worth maybe a hundred bucks but it does not have the correct motor in it But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys learned something today. Thanks for watching.